Hi, welcome to my system. We are late 2017, so almost 2018, and 6.3.1 is going to be launched. We have um, added one conky from WIM and December 2017, and that's this one. And people are asking questions because it's not a normal conky, it's based on Lua, which is nice because it gives us these borders with a little radius in here as well. And all the text and all the graphical elements are not your standard conky. Now, a few minutes ago, I started this tutorial already and I did it again. And at that time, this dial was straight over Wednesday. So, any conky you receive is never 100%. And that's the fun about it. You can edit it, you can change the colors, you can delete stuff, you can add stuff. So, it's up to you to change these things. But this one, is rather difficult. Let's follow what happens. In the system you have Konki Zen or let's start a way back. You have Konki Lua Archers. That's what we installed. Let's start way back. So how is it possible that you have these tiles and all that? Because we have this one installed. Konki Lua Archers. That's installed on the ISO. So if you have Archer merged with a D, you don't have anything. So you need to remember to install this one. Or there's another variant from NVIDIA and see if that works for your hardware. Depending on what you have, you might choose something else. So choosing something else is quite easy. You just type in Packer, Conti, Lua, and then you go look what works on your system. So we've chosen to go for this one. So that's providing this kind of look. Okay. So we have the basics. We have hardware, well, software that's going to provide um, this Lua interpretation. Interpretation. Well, so it's still early in the morning. <clears throat> anyway, we need to figure out where is this conky, and this conky is always gonna be in your home directory. Dot config conky. It's a new one and it's located in here so we have two elements here and maybe it's a good thing for me to separate the two elements by way of education I think that's the best thing to do so there's a system Lua which I'm gonna get rid of now and there's the clock and we're just gonna tackle the clock so you're not confused in any way this is the one we're gonna change the clock is not okay because of this font too big so we go inside this one and then we go and, and check out what happens. This one is not run at this point in time, so we don't use it. It's from Wim and uh, Wim uses it, but we have your Konki Zen and it's just gonna, well, let's select this one. Uh, you, you're gonna select Konki RC. That's the name it should be. And then everything works fine here. But what happens, let's open it up. But let's open it up in the proper way, meaning I'm going to open it up with Atom. So use the proper tools. To make it a little bit bigger, I have installed a few packages. All I have to do is install packages. Now I'm going to show the manage packages, install the minimap, install the minimap pigments and the pigments. Those three are great. Why? Well, because it will show you some elements here. You see the colors already from the system. You can also change here the plain text to something more interesting, but I don't think Lua is, uh, well, Lua can be added. Conky as well, I think, but um, it's not available at this point in time. And that's not the point of the tutorial. It's enough to see that with pigments, you see that this thing is gonna be colored. And if we're gonna change it, then he knows that this is going to be red. So that's a great tool for you to figure out, hey, what color is this? And so on. Okay, so we have um, the proper tool. It's Atom. Atom, normally you have here conky text. You have a lot of text in between those two brackets here. Nothing at all. So that's already a frustrating thing. But it says up here, load me everything in the config, in the conky, in that folder, in the settings Lua. And load me everything. Load all Lua. 
and it's gonna ask for the main and the vars. So these things he's asking to, to start it up. So let's have a look. So scripts, well, settings first. Settings is just, uh, well, the things that can change in your system. Everybody has another interface. So if you go in here and you say, what's my interface? Uh, I have config is a good one and they have this name and that's indeed the correct one control shift copy and click on here control V and that's your network interface as well here and as well here and there and there okay so that's the variable kind of thing so these change in every system so you need to change those okay what else so the settings have been checked now we go to the load lua load lua is going to require some stuff i say hey look at this folder and check out all the scripts in there called lua everything with lua at the end we want the box the text and the clock we want the box the clock and the text okay so everything gets loaded and is gonna tell them hey draw a box Give me some text and give me a clock. That's what, exactly what happens here. Give me a box, give me some text and give me a dial, the clock. So we need to go to the text because that's the thing we were going to take a look at. And the text is in here somewhere. You'll need to find text settings. Text Conkey, time A, Ubuntu, font size 30, aha. So what if we did font size 20 and do it like this this is not needed anymore we can best thing is up to get up here and then you can make it like so for instance so we see what happens here now there are two things to do or you do it in a terminal and you say restart this conkey with that configuration file or you just say conkey zen go all the way down all the way up and click it off and click it on again because the Lua is not going to be loaded because you changed the file. Normally it will change, but it's an exception, it's a Lua. So the clock is that one, I think. Nope, that's a system Eric. Okay, and you see already we solved that issue. So it's just a matter of going inside Lua, finding the text, font size, and bold is false, we can make it true and make it bold, we can move it up from the X and the Y coordinates. So where do we put the text? The color, it's color one and color one is in here. So if you want to change the color, you can, but you see, you have to keep all these things in front. That's not normal. So this is a color and it's orange color. So let's make a green color. Everybody knows RGB, RGB. And that's gonna be green but not right now so the only thing you have to do is again conky Zen let's see if we can just do it like so well that saves us some time so you see here we have um, Wednesday in green is actually not that bad because it's the green that's coming from here as well so why not but it's up to you so control Z I'm gonna reset everything safe like so, but I'm not gonna reset Ubuntu 20 and I'll update to GitHub so next time everybody has font size 20. So, so it's this, these little things you can change and uh, have to look for the code and if you want another font, because there are lots of beautiful fonts out there um, to make graphical and so on, Star Wars, sci-fi like, uh, any font, it's all on, on there, free fonts, look for fonts and um, you have to install them and put them in your home folder in the dot fonts reboot for instance and it's already loaded but there is also an uh, for fonts there is something we made because i always forget and it says blah 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 here uh, so fc is uh, sudo fc cache uh, dash fv so if you want to include a font in your system put it in the dot fonts and run fc and it's in there and you don't have to reboot um what else so we found text lua yeah um the clock lua is uh, 
in here you have to read the parameters there's nothing I would change um, what could we change look the global work time uh, minimum hands uh -huh. never looked at before not sure if we have anything to change here we need anything to change there are some colors that's correct these are those colors so you don't like those colors here they are change them any way you want the radius where it starts in the x and the c the y so show second hand true or false if you want to have no thing let's try this one would like to see if that's better look or not okay so nothing moves now no thing that's going around no second hand and um, well yeah we can change some of those things that are minor changes of course and um, well that's that in box lower we can change maybe something about these uh, gaps in between it or the transparency or things like that you have here parameters begin here it says and parameters parameters and here it's going to be white and this is going to be grayish and it's going to be white but it gives a lot of transparency that's i think my guess is that's transparency or question is what's this what's that there's a linear gradient in there somewhere so it's still all to be figured out what is what and the only thing you have to do is change one thing save check out what it changes and then you can have a look uh, what is what and i think do think we have to stay up here here's all the explanation linear gradient is what is this what is that what's the color and all the explanations are up there it's question of figuring out now what this is so the local box settings the width and the height so color does he explain the color table of colors default plain white is this one this table contains one or more tables with pc on her pc a position of gradient start of gradient end of gradient hexadecimal color alpha is opacity So the last thing, last thing is opacity. So this one is going to be opaque, meaning if you press one, let's see what happens. So it's that simple, change one thing, say, okay, reload the thing, see what happens. All right, so we've changed the, the part that's the background and it's still a gradient because here is a linear gradient and now we can figure out what is what here we have corners circle five circle five border four so if you take border zero or just delete the line but let's leave the line as it is Not bad either. And we can get the borders. That's the zero. So there are things we can do and change this conky with uh, experimenting actually. So just change one thing, reload, see what changes. And then he even uses the shadow. Now we see it very clearly that there is a shadow used as some, some 3d dimension that's nice we didn't see that really when it was so dark so there you go um guys experiment with it it's uh, there's no actual tutorial here that's just um, there's a little information up here uh, enough to you to for you to figure out what is what do what i do just experiment, just change one parameter, reload, check what it does, and then you say, oh, that part is that part, that part is that part. 
use colors that are obvious like red so ff0000 is a good go or, or anything green or blue rgb colors then you figure it out what is what and we can change it and um, that concludes our tutorial so do enjoy figuring out and working with a lua a conky and um, enjoy ciao